Hello, Terry here, and today we are going to play The Witch and Her Assistant, a game developed by Caramello or Mellow B, who also developed Fujiwara Bitter Sweet. It's a very excellent game, which I haven't finished yet. You can check my Let's Play here on the card above. Either way, this game looks so adorable. Look at that. It's so colorful and... What do you call it? Just... Nice. And what is that? <laughs> That's a cute lizard. Either way, let's play the game, shall we? Start. Oh, it's so smooth. Nice. Clock ringing. MC. <laughs> You name the character, MC. All right, that's that's fine. Can I rest five more minutes, please? Mm, yeah, yes, you can if you want to avoid your job. I spent all night trying to make a potion work. Uh huh. <laughs> nope. Clock still ringing. All right, all right. I've got it. No slipping in. Jeez. But but you can turn off the clock. Well, I think no rest for the witch, I guess. <laughs> Are you waiting for a sign from the gods, like the clock suddenly explode or stuff like that? And what is... Oh, it's a cute black cat. Hello there. Psh, 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 psh. Ah. The witch slumped into her couch before Sally, her salamander familiar, wriggled onto her lap. I was kind of expecting that the... Which is a serious person, but I must say, I can relate to the witch. The tiny amphibian's tongue snapped over her finger as though they were food. Sally, every morning you act as though I haven't fed you in weeks. Uh, I mean, that's how pet goes. If you ever have cats, they, they're so hungry delicious. I don't know the word, but yeah, hungry delicious. They, they always eat. What the freak is wrong with your cat? Stop eating, you're. <laughs> You're getting so chunky. But the familiar continued. Its sticky tongue tugged at the witch's fingertip for attention. For food! Oh, by the way, I don't have cats. I'm just saying. I'm just seeing people have cats. Cats are cute. Yeah. At least let me put my feet on the floor. Maybe it's time for a pet? Just once, I prefer a relaxing morning. I mean... It's time for a pet. I'm okay with giving you all my attention, Sally, but sometimes you are too much. Would your, would your loneliness lessen if I brought a little friend home? Oh, a little friend. Or will it worsen and make you jealous and needy? Hmm. I love you the same even if I own a pet someday, I promise. Oh wait. So familiar and pet are different. Uh, by the way, what is that cat? You 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 won't talk about that cat. Setting Sally down with a yawn, the witch prepar prepared breakfast for each of them. Sally became my familiar when I was young, and she has helped me throughout countless misadventures. Ah, as such, Sally's family to me. It's said that once a familiar master dies, the familiar passes soon after. Oh. Hey, at least they live long enough. Remaining by their side until their last breath and accompanying them for eternity afterwards. I don't know about being together forever in the afterlife, but... One thing for sure, contemplating Sally's death make me miserable all. The witch laughed nervously before turning in the slender direction, breaking away from her thugs. But girl, the mess here is bound to attract unwanted spirits. We ought to clean soon. Yep. Sally snorted as if to say, You're never clean anyway, so who cares? <laughs> Sally, come on. Then she gobbled up her meal, paying her owner no further attention. I'm only here for the food, she'll go away. <laughs> hey, I'm not lazy, okay? There's simply too much work to do since mom left. I hardly have enough time to rest, let alone clean. Your mom... is she... My condolences. Maybe I should hire an assistant to help me with the chores. Maybe. I wonder what kind of person I employ if I advertise at a tavern. 
Do you think they be clumsy at first? Really able from the get go. I mean, why not? They could be clumsy at first. Maybe they be a slow learner who increase my workload. Not really. They could help you still. Well, I'm hiring an assistant, not training an apprentice. They need to be studious from the get go. I appreciate another pair of hand. I wait. How do you read that? I yeah. I'd appreciate another pair of handy, clumsy or not. And I'm happy when others rely on me, so it's no bother. Hmm. But a mentorship would be a fantastic experience. Teaching a pu pupil sounds so fulfilling. You think so? So, mm hmm. Rarely and mundane beings are afraid of witch and wizards. We are one of the most powerful species alongside demons and angels after all. Oh, okay. And being fear makes me feel so lonely. Uh-huh. The witch finished her breakfast, lost in her thoughts, and prepared to go outside. Yeah, this is what happens if you don't have social media. You, you should totally try to insta oh, Instagram or Twitter, bro. A chill ran along her spine as she opened the door and a cold wine slipped wine. Why do I say wine, you ask? That's because I combined wine and sleep with wind here and the pet there. So, like, wine. My mistake, that's usual for me. So, sorry, where was we? I forgot because I was explaining that. A chill ran along her spine as she opened the door and a cold wind slipped through her night dress. She frowned at the grey overcast sky. The weather gets colder by the day. I should stock up on the food, plants and wood before winter. Alright. The cold season never come this early. Hopefully this isn't a bad omen. Shivering in the thin night where she collected the letter from her mail mailbox and hurried back inside. Let's see what news they brought me today. News from the capital potion order. Oh, this is. Oh, this request is rather urgent, but. She glanced at her shelves, noticing more empty spaces, space than jars and scythe. <laughs> I should restock more often. You should! Returning her attention to the letter, the witch eyebrows narrowed. This one for mom. This one's for mom again. How many times I, I must write until these people understand she moved last year with grandma? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, she's still alive. <laughs> Beryl left. I am Beryl's daughter. My name is... Ah, finally. She could have just put question mark instead of MC. <laughs> uh, oh god, uh, oh god, I'm not good at naming. What? What, what should I name her? How about Tella? Yeah, inspired by Pastel and... I don't know what else. I just picked that up. My name is Tella. Yeah, it's either Tella or Brian. Which one you choose to be the name? I appreciate if they remember. I guess I'll visit Mother House soon anyway when we have our annual family gathering. That will be the perfect time to hand her these letters. Oh, I skipped something, sorry. Maybe I should take a break. I'm so exhausted these days, and being unfocused is terrible for my word. Say, Sally, where would you like to vacation? Hmm. I think I love. Somewhere near the water, a cozy cottage. You know, I was starting to suspect that the two person we saw at the at the title screen is not the witch and her assistants, but who assistant that we can choose from and if we go to the water we will meet that blue assistant and if we go to the cozy cottage we will meet the deer assistant blue deer blue deer which one huh you know what let's go with the deer and also aren't we going to talk about that cat over there but uh, okay let's not talk about it I love a trip to the cottage since fresh forest air is so soothing. I love hiking there since the town is close enough to see mom and grandma whenever I want. 
While traveling sounds fun, what if I discover I prefer staying in my comfort zone? Anyway, vacation or not, the inventory won't reveal itself, indeed. Hope into my bag, Sally will collect some ingredients in the woods. Oh, okay. The witch was about to step outside when she recalled the chill she felt earlier. It's cold outside, you're not going to wear your nightdress only, right? I'll take a coat in case it gets cold. That's a smart person. Then she departed into the forest. You know, I must comment that the background is really lovely. As expected, it's getting colder. It will rain soon and well, that doesn't bother me. I know you dislike the rain, Sally. Want to, want to wait for me inside? The salamander answered with a cheerful little cry before nestling into the bag. Oh, guess you want to take a long then. Alright, let's go. The woods surrounding the cottage are safer than those that border the demon lands. What the freak? Why do you suddenly mention the demon lands? The demon themselves aren't bad per se, but the immoral one roams those territories. I mean, there's a lot of immoral people, right? Feel kind of judgmental to demon. Poor things. The demons and their ancestors result from the first angel failed experiments. Oh. Warrior man to serve in the war of the angel 2000 years ago. It was a colossal disaster from what I've heard. Hopefully we won't witness another one, but rumors suggest there are a small group of demons rebelling here and there. And heaven know how much angel love defines against their kingdom. Against, sorry. Their top-ranked people are too controlling in my opinion, and their leaders actively discourage change that I improve things. Hey, I'm here for romance, not politics. But, oh well, that's interesting too. It sounds stressful to be an angel nowadays. <laughs> Though, I wonder how things were in the beginning when they were the only species. I should learn more about them when I have time, the history must be fascinating. Time passed as the witch gathered herbs. Lost in her thought, she didn't immediately notice the rain falling on her. Ever, every so often, Sally shoveled in the bag, a gesture she only did when nervous. When the back of the witch neck prickled, she realized she was being followed. Oh no. Alert and observant, the witch crept towards the tree on her right. Show yourself, you foolish demon. No, you're not a demon. <laughs> Why are you screaming? You're the one that's following me. Why are you so meek? Uh-huh. <laughs> she wasn't prepared for the harmless wild creature she discovered. In the <laughs> I wasn't expecting that too. They stared at each other in silence. Her, intrigued, and him on the verge of tears. Like a baby werewolf who lost his pack. But werewolves don't have blonde hair and blue eyes. And werewolf doesn't have an antler. You should point uh, that one. That one is most obvious. What's your name? What are you doing here? You you are a witch, right? Could be. What's your business here? I'm the one asking the questions. Oh. Please spare me. <laughs> What? No, I won't hurt you. What's with that prejudice? eyes? I just wanted to know your name and why you're near my home. That's all. You wanna hurt me, really? I'm going to start hurting you if you keep giving me that those opinions of prejudice. eyes. I won't, I promise. My name is Zahilel. How do you say that? Zahilel. Lel. Now I've come to... Uh... Ah. Uh, Achoo! What? The loudest sneeze Della had ever heard interrupted his sentence. We just got ourselves the clumsiest assistant ever, aren't we? Zayla looked frail, he was likely to catch a cold. The witch stepped forward, offering her coat to him, but. Stay back, you witch! What the frick is wrong with you? Let's. let You know? This is the forest. Nobody will discover his body. Come on, come on. Come on, we, we can do it fast and swift. And then we can take his coat or money or whatever. How about it? 
Rude! Is that how you treat people trying to help you? So is that yes or no? I mean, I mean at least you agree that he's rude. Help me? Yeah, but well, that's what we are trying to do. I'm not so heartless that I ignore someone at risk of catching a cold. So, do you want my coat? Mm -hmm. Insist he take the coat, don't insist. Somehow I feel he is going to cry more if we insist. If we don't insist, he will then take the coat. So, I don't know. Take it, I don't want you getting ill, alright? I... I swear I don't bite and I feel bad if you cough a call since I can help. The hesitation sparking in his eyes remains, so Tala strode forward. Ignoring Zaylel's reluctance, she secured the coat in his shoulder. Huh, so... Zaylel is a sub. It's a button. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Sorry I didn't mean to startle you. It's okay. Oh. Want to take shelter in my house until the rain stops? It's nearby. Alright. Tala turned around with a soft smile as she didn't want to scare him further. This way, follow me. The witch led the way and they soon arrived at the cabin. It's a little cut. <laughs> Did you just jump? Oh, it's a little cottage. You seem surprised. I am. Wait, where do you think witch live? <laughs> now I'm kind of suspicious of your opinion. Why, why are you surprised of this? Are you thinking that witch lives in caves? Zaylel scampered towards the garden and clapped his hand together. However, only the witch noticed the spring of the plants when he neared the hand. Ah. Oh, so lovely. Look how his behavior changed upon seeing my garden. I admire herbs later, for now, let's go inside. Once inside, the witch offered her hand to Zaylel. That cat is still there. I'll take my coat now. Oh, yes, of course. She placed the jacket near the fireplace to dry. It's messy, but sit wherever you want. Is the chair okay? Wherever is fine, I'll be back with some drinks. <laughs> I'm unsure uh, the chair is supposed to be sit on. When, while well, Taylor bought water, she snuck a glance at her guest. Zai fidget in his seat and his gleaming eyes survived her home. He is strange, but not unpleasant. His clothes look high quality and those physical features, indeed, high quality indeed. Few beings have blonde hair and glittering blue eyes around here. I'm curious how he ended up in these woods. Sally jumped out onto the witch's shoulder as she portioned hot water into mugs. I'm almost done with the tea, sweetie. Will you keep our guest company while I finish this? Sally responded with a cute cry and leapt to the floor all. Good girl. The witch soon joined them and sat before Zaylel. Here, drink this, it will warm you up. Thank you, now you're so trusting. You, you sure I didn't poison the drink? He seems comfortable around me now, that's good. I hope Sally was a fine house during my absence. Of course, she's adorable. Oh wait, you can talk to Sally, can you? Heh, I think who could compete with her for who's cutest and it'd be difficult to choose, <laughs> what? Thanks for this, and I'm sorry for avoiding your assistance earlier. Okay. Oh, so you cannot talk to Sally? I was expecting that. Don't worry about that. But I'm curious why we are you so afraid? Well, because we just are evil, right? The music stops. <laughs> where, did, where did you hear that ridiculous rumor? It's no rumor. I've read it in several books. Ah. Books? What books? Yes, the one my mother read to me when I was a baby. <laughs> Weird, that's the first I've heard of witches being villains in children's books. Where were the books from? Humans wrote them. Ah, that's, that explains. <laughs> You're just being silent, eh? You know, humans only exist in fairy tales. Oh. Oh, 
right? And in history books, there are, men there are mentions of them in our world creation. That's... Well, at least we did something. That remains to be proven. I believe they exist. I've enjoyed their tales since I was a child, so why wouldn't they? I mean, yeah, we have a good run. <laughs> I see. Or maybe not. We we freak out a lot of times, aren't we? But witch and wizards aren't evil, I promise. They are eccentric, sure, but otherwise similar to everyone else. Who knows? Perhaps the old witch are different. Like any other species, they they sorry, they aren't divided into good or bad. Just flawed with lives of endless possibilities. I I know. Okay. I was afraid because you startled me, but you're the one that stalked me. <laughs> anyway, it's more common that angels are the villains, right? No. <laughs> hmm. But they're but they aren't all evil evil either. Uh huh. There are nice angels too, I swear. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of right. Yeah, either the human are very afraid of other species, a lot of other species, or back then it was just such a disastrous time. Teach him about angels, comfort him. I mean, why not? I know, I have a proof of that for me. What do you mean? You are the most harmless angel I've ever met. <laughs> Not that I have met many, I thought you were going to... Uh, to scare him with angel story. But uh, okay. You knew? I mean, blonde hair and shiny blue eyes are an angel's physical features. Doesn't everyone know? Th he is an angel? Oh. Doesn't everyone know that? Are you wondering why I'm here? It is uncommon to encounter angels on land. I thought you were flirting with him. By calling him angels, but turns out he is an angel. Would you tell me your story? Sure, it will not bother me. Then I'm listening. I'll tell you. He will? He sure is friendly for someone so defensive just a few minutes ago. I am an angel, but you have noticed my horns, right? Yeah, I did. I have. You have, but you didn't comment on that at all. Actually, I am a hybrid. So half angel and half forest spirit. My mother's a forest spirit. Ah. My father lives elsewhere as angel can stay down here long. Then he returned to heaven. Yes, I still remember how sad my parents were having to part. I don't understand. Aren't fallen angels banned from returning to heaven? Oh, he's no fallen angel. My father's an ambassador. He fell in love with my mother during his mission. Ah, that explains. Getting kinda... Getting kinda fell in love in the journey, eh? Angels can only st stay down here for a few years before their health deteriorates past the point of no return. They had considered becoming a fallen angel to remain with us all, but he had suffered and my mother didn't want that. She convinced him it was better for him to return. I see, that's sad. It was at first, but he is revisiting us. He's visiting us more often thanks to the rise of demonic rebellions. <laughs> what? I don't understand politics, so I hope everything will be okay for everyone. Yeah, it will not. Hopefully. Will you be okay? Hybrids have poor health compared to pure blood species. Especially hybrid angels. Unfortunate, isn't it? Considering we are the strongest species alongside witches and demons. It's ironic that if we are powerful until we are on land too long or if we become fallen angels. But I'm okay. With nature blessing, I'm as healthy as other hybrids. Oh, that's not to say I don't get sick. I may catch a cold from walking in the rain. I have brought an umbrella if I known. 
Zai's spirit slumbered during the lull in the conversation. Despite his cheerful tone, maybe his cold or severe when he gets one. Um, why are you here, by the way? The witch wondered if there was a way to lighten the atmosphere. Wink at him. S s wink. Just smile. You are going to murder this precious boy. <laughs> you know what? Let's try it. Tell a wink at Zai and he giggled. Cute. Ah, oh, that works. You know, I thought you were going to destroy this boy with your absolute clear tennis when you wing. <laughs> but no. It's fine. Thankfully, you have sheltered me, so it should be okay. Okay. I pressed the mouse, but it doesn't work. I'm glad to hear it, so it seems my mouse is, is in a bad condition now. However, you haven't told me what you were doing in the woods. Where you lost. Alright. The music stops again. I meant to abduct you. What the freak, man? Sorry? Well, not in a bad way. It is possible to kidnap someone so nicely. <laughs> I had good reason, uh -huh. and that is... Oh, I'm all ears then. You see, I want to attend the Mighty Magical Academy, but my house grand intendant is opposed to it. What does that have to do with me? Magic? Well, he declared you cannot attend unless you prove you're strong enough to begin to win against a witch or a wizard. <laughs> He was exaggerating, but I really wanted to study magic, and I heard a witch live in the night boring forest, so... Can you maybe come home with me and pretend I defeated you? Please. No, no, that's not how it works. You have to defeat me. Truth, truthfully. That's a bad idea. Won't you regret lying about defeating me later? Well, probably. But what else I can do? Can I do? I'm not good at anything, so of course I couldn't win against a witch alone. That's when the witch remembered what she seen earlier. Are you talentless though? What do you mean? You're good with plant magic, aren't you? Who decided you are weak? Does everyone say that to you? Some people harass me for being frail, but most people pity me. Oh, I skipped something. There are some who are overprotective and think I'm too weak to survive in this world. Honestly, I am clumsy and don't have any special talents. Compared to others, I'm useless. You aren't useless. Are you sure about that? Hmm, let's more, be more direct here. I'm not? What makes you say that? I don't understand. I see great potential in you. My witch sense is never wrong. You have witch sense? Really? Yes, I'll prove it to you right now. Oh. How? You'll find out if you follow me. Okay. Curious, Zaylel did as, is, as instru instructed and followed her outside. The rain had stopped, but they could hear the occasional drop falling of a leaf. Ah. Ah, I love the smell after the rain, it's so refreshing. Zaylel. Yeah, I adore the atmosphere after a powerful rain shower. I wonder if being a forest spirit plays a role in my enjoyment. Maybe! Come this way! The witch smiled before taking Zaylel's hand but released him when he flinched. <laughs> Sorry, that was, that was rude of me. You're so agreeable that I forget we met only a little while ago. <laughs> it's okay, it's just surprised me. Alright. Alright, see. Tala hesitated but then decided it'd be awkward to take his hand again. She crossed to her garden and waved her guest over. Zaylal had yet to move. Aren't you coming? R right. I grow a variety of plants for different purposes in the garden. Right? Those planted there are for cooking, these are for gentle remedies, and these are... Tala paused, hesitating to explain what the current section of plants was for. However, she continued after a thought. And these are for intimate purpose. What do you mean? Zaylel didn't react. 
intimate purposes like a pro CDX and medicines that help with libido. What the freak, man? Yes, they are among the easiest plant to grow. That's why there are so many love potion on the market. Oh my, it seems our soft boy here isn't too soft after all. You know that much about it. Yes, I like plants so I know a ton about them. Then maybe I should ask you for advice. Sure, Op. Jumping, jumping. I'd be happy to help. But why grow all these plants? Well, that's because I need to make a living by selling potions. I run a small business selling potions and remedies. Unfortunately, I struggle in some areas. She pointed to the last section full of discolored, shriveled plants. I've tried growing herbs for severe injuries and health problems, but as you can see... Poor things. I tried my best, but they won't cultivate. Maybe it's my magic flow, I'm unsure how to fix it. Plants for her serious health problems are difficult to grow, alright. It could be because you're conducting your magic the wrong way, or perhaps you're lacking the magical resources for the task. The rarer the plants, the more energy it requires, alright. I figured, sadly nobody ever taught me. What? Us, witches and wizards, have to figure things out ourselves. Oh, that's interesting. Unless you're from a rich family, there, are, there aren't opportunities to hire tutors. Most of us learn from books. If one's lucky, recipes are passed down from their parents like me. However, if they didn't receive a proper magical education themselves, their knowledge is still lacking. That's why I wish to attend the mighty magical academy. I learned so much more there. Oh, you want to attend there too? Me too! My mom taught me that what she knew, but I want to study more. But for now, let's tend to this poor baby, shall we? Okay. Oh, wait. Nice. Zaylil rested his hand near the plants and took a deep breath. All traces of the dear boy cheerfulness, cheerfulness vanished as determination took over. Oh. Slowly, hundreds of sparkly particles emanated from his body and the plant. How pretty. My magic doesn't do that. It's just specific to earth elementals. A few- Ah, it blooms. Aww. A few seconds later, not only Zaylel healed the plant, he revived the shriveled herbs surrounding it. He's smiling. Nice. All done. Wow. And you, da and you dare say you're useless? Uh-huh. So- Sorry? You revived this garden! But isn't it common to be able to revive small beings? No! Uh, oh... And see, you have proved my point. So repeat after me. I am not useless. Mm -hmm. You're still unconvinced? I... Sorry. Well, it's not like you changed your opinion about yourself because someone told you to. Sorry? Let's make it. Ah, uh -huh. let's make a deal then. A deal? A heron deals a demon costume, though I've heard the odd of the odd angel making one or two. Odd angel? What? What kind of deal is it? I won't pay with my body just so you know what? <laughs> At least not until I know you better. What, 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 huh? Why are you going that direction? Just where did your mind go? Excuse me. Yes. <laughs> S sorry, but you're right. In a way, I do require your body. I knew it. <laughs> you at least confident that you. <laughs> you at least confident that people will try to. How to say it? Prey on you, eh? Relax, it's nothing like that. Become my assistant. Aha. Uh -huh. Your assistant? Yes, it will benefit both of us. Having an official witch assistant certi certificate will be a tremendous advantage for you if you want to enter the academy. 
And for me, well, I must split my task in two, so I greatly appreciate your help. We even assist each other in the areas where our knowledge is lacking. What do you say? I... I actually like that idea. My mom will be okay, but... I'm unsure about the intendant. I never knew how to face him and I can win argument against him. Then I'll go with you. Oh. Besides, if you'll be my assistant, we'll be together every day. Oh, like roommates? Basically, you mentioned earlier that you're from a neighboring forest, right? Right. I take an entire day to reach my horse, but I came on foot. It will take some. Do you want to make that journey every day? Not really, no. Then stay here. Wait. But do you have horses? I have a flying horse, what? Really? Whoa! A Pegasus, I didn't expect that though. But I thought they only allowed angels to have them. I was joking, actually I have one of them, so okay. Okay then, so you lie about that. The witch collected her broom and focused her energy into it. It levitated around her knees. Wow, you can fly on your brood, yeah. Tella grinned proudly. Yep, but it's rare for even witches and wizards to fly. My element is the air, so it's natural for me, okay. As natural as it is for me to grow plants? Probably. Impressive! Hey, why are you calling me impressive while you don't call yourself impressive? Thanks. Although my broom is as fast as a horse, we could still go, though so I dislike traveling at night. Yeah, your broom is as fast as a horse, but it can navigate better in a forest. I mean, it can fly. Wait, have you traveled with passengers before? Yeah, no worries. Okay. I'm so nervous. This will be my first time flying. Zaylel paced before the thin broom, doubting its comfort and stability. The witch giggled at his concern and patted his shoulder. It's okay, it's okay. I'll add seats and bell to it if you're worried about safety. <laughs> what? That's reassuring? Mm? I promise you're safe with me. Safe with you? Alright then, I'll trust you. This dear boy is so naive and innocent, I doubt that. But the fact that he's still alive after all this year, despite his na naivety, Naivete proves he's way more capable than he looks. Yes. Assistant, I'm looking forward to what will happen next. Thank you for play. Oh. Oh, oh, that's the end of. Alright. Thank you for playing. Special thanks to Riri Kutai for proofreading and editing and to Salvador Garza Garza. And I call the musical ghost for the. Hey, that's not good. <laughs> but, okay, so there's only one assistant left, and who are you, Blue? Blue. I don't know your species, Blue Water. <laughs> so I guess that's all for the witch and her assistants. See you later then, in the next episode, where we where will we... I cannot even say it, sorry. Where we will meet with the Blue... Water. Bye-bye. <laughs>